I'm comforted, I guess, only because I know that he knew the Lord and he is with the Lord right now. And um, those who walk in his path will, goodbyes are never forever. A sad start to a generous day in Madison. Governor Eric Holcomb paid tribute to Madison's late mayor, Damon Welch. But I just, I did want to acknowledge the passing of Mayor Damon Welch. And, um, my dear friend, our dear friend, um, so he was a rare breed of politician, meaning that he was not a politician. Uh, he was a consensus builder, a problem solver, a, a lover of all things Madison. He also, uh, Joe, understood community crossings. Short of $100 million will go to fund road repairs in Indiana. Uh, to communities, I, I certainly understand the importance of what uh, paving a, uh, a main street or community street means uh, as much as I understand what how important it is to, to do uh, interstates and, and state highways as we're moving freight, we're moving people, we're moving school buses. But this $100 million is only a portion of what's been given back to the community since 2016. 130 different cities, towns, counties uh, were recipients in this round about 99.2 million dollars the crossings grant allows local communities towns and counties to repair their roads and bridges we made sure that we took a real long-term um, not just view but uh, got busy putting a plan together that would fully fund our roads and bridges program for 20 years southern indiana will see close to eight million dollars of that funding even the portion of the road the governor stood by today was paid for by the crossings grant. This um, West Vaughn Drive here was, is a product of that. I love the smell of asphalt uh, and concrete. Uh, it's just, just the smell of progress um, to me. Indiana is known as the Crossroads of America, and now the state is being recognized for its efforts. I was really heartened by the fact when CNBC came out and recently ranked Indiana as having the number one infrastructure program in America and it has to do with all of our investments in not just our roads and bridges but in our rail and how we connect how we connect with one another. The Crossings Grant has given over 600 million dollars in state funding since 2017. The Community Crossing Grant will continue with the next round of grants given out in January so we can see more projects completed in the areas that need them. This is uh, a key part of building one Indiana.